She didn't start out as the favourite, but at the end of a tense week of voting, Audrey Azoulay emerged as the winner. Merci. UNESCO's executive board picked the French former culture minister as its new director general, replacing Bulgarian Irina Bukova. Azoulay takes over at a turbulent time for the organisation. The US and Israel say they're pulling out, accusing it of anti-Israel bias. In this moment of crisis, at this time of crisis, I think it's more important than ever to invest in UNESCO, support it, seek to reinforce it, reform it, and not to leave it. At 45, Azoulay will be the youngest head of UNESCO. She was a cultural advisor to former French President François Hollande before becoming culture minister. Her father is an advisor to the King of Morocco. She beat Qatar's Hamad al khawari by only two votes. Her selection has disappointed those who said that after decades of European and North American heads, it was the Arab world's turn. I think this is a, a disappointment for many, many Arab citizens. Uh, it was the round of, I mean, the time for the Arab world. Uh, but anyway, uh, we are confident that the new elected director general uh, she will be doing well. Uh, Qatar is supporting all UNESCO's action. When Azoulay begins her term in office, she will face some tough challenges. She takes over an organisation the critics say is in desperate need of reform. And she'll have to work hard to try and heal the divisions which have harmed UNESCO's image and lost it essential funding. The US stopped its $80 million a year contributions in 2011 after UNESCO gave Palestinians full membership. Israel followed suit and Japan also cut funds last year after a different row. There's no way UNESCO can totally escape the politicizing. Uh, what it could do uh, better than it has until now is avoid divisions that lead to some countries abandoning it, abandoning the ship and leaving it without funding and without a consensus. UNESCO was created in the aftermath of World War II to promote peace through international cooperation in education, science and culture. Some say Azoulay doesn't have enough experience to resolve its problems. Others say her youth will bring a fresh approach and a much needed change. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.